Let me talk a little bit about inventor paranoia. Now, uh, <laughs> I was at the National Association of Patent Practitioners Conference a few years ago, and the, Ron Reardon was uh, giving the keynote speech, and he began with a little joke, and he said, there are two types of inventors out there, the paranoid and the more paranoid. And all the patent attorneys and the patent agents, we were rolling in the aisles. That was the funniest thing we'd ever heard. We thought it was really funny. I tell that same joke at a lot of my adult school classes, and people kind of look at me like, well, that's not funny. Of course, that's the way it is. You know, of course, we're paranoid. Everyone's going to steal our inventions. And it's good to be paranoid to a certain extent, but don't be paranoid to the point where it's uh, going to negate any possibility you're ever going to have of making any money off your invention. Because uh, you're right, some people are going to steal ideas, but they're much more likely to copy successful products than they are to steal ideas. If you think about it, everybody in the manufacturing business, they know that just being able to make a product is no guarantee of success. So they're much more likely to just sit back and wait until you have proven that the product has, has legs and is going to sell, then they'll copy it. Which is why you want to get patent protection to keep them from copying it. Now, the other thing too, just as a general kind of philosophical tidbit here, is that you want to, you want to think about whether or not you want to uh, go to your grave with your invention in your mind, happy that nobody ever stole it from you or whether you'd like to get out there and you know, give it a try. Because from what I see, nobody has ever succeeded who hasn't spent some money, trusted some people, and taken some chances. I mean, there's just no way that you're going to have an invention that's going to magically patent itself, and then some rich millionaire is going to fly over in a helicopter and drop a $10 million suitcase on you. It's just not going to happen. You're going to have to take some chances. And again, that's your choice. Go to your grave with your idea, and at least no one will have ripped you off or give it a shot, try to make some money.